Bonjour, euh, mon nom est Philippe. Mon nom, c'est Louis-Alexandre. Moi, c'est Edan. J'ai choisi l'eau parce que euh, l'eau, c'est la chose euh, la plus importante dans notre monde et dans notre vie. Et sans l'eau, euh, personne ne peut être vivant. Warning their values carried on and to interest a young generation in the philanthropic work of their foundation, Philip and Nanbe de Gaspé Beaubien organized a meeting with their grandchildren, whom they asked to find a heartfelt cause. J'ai été agréablement surpris parce qu'on avait choisi pour eux un sujet plus facile à faire, mais quand ils ont parlé de l'eau, ils étaient unanimes à ça. Moi, j'étais très heureux de voir ça parce que on a un problème sérieux dans la mobilisation, la connaissance sur l'eau au Canada. Moi, j'aimerais ajouter que dans la famille, on a un dicton à Vade Ultra. Et c'est d'aller plus loin. Et je pense que c'est justement ça que nos petits-enfants vont faire. Ben, je pense que c'est un enjeu crucial. Euh, ça concerne tout le monde. C'est vraiment un enjeu euh, mondial. Et euh, je pense que ça serait euh, un problème crucial à notre génération parce que euh, ben, l'eau est une ressource essentielle et il n'y a pas de substitution pour l'eau. Et euh, on doit trouver une façon de partager cette ressource euh, limitée avec tout le monde. Je pense que ça va être une bonne aventure. J'ai choisi la rivière Rotoé car dans Montréal, beaucoup de l'eau potable vient de cette rivière et aujourd'hui, c'est encore pollué puis c'est ça. Les trois jeunes qui... The three youngsters about to discover the Ottawa River have chosen water for their philanthropic project. We can't accomplish our project without connecting with the river. So uh, we're taking a canoe trip on the Ottawa River to really get a grip on our project. Moi, je suis en extase parce que c'est sûr que l'eau est un domaine que nous autres en famille, on ne pensait pas du tout. Et ils m'ont vraiment donné beaucoup d'informations sur l'eau. Alors, je suis très fier d'eux. Ils ont réussi à amener quelque chose que j'aurais jamais pensé et que, qui ajoute beaucoup à notre famille. I have no doubt that this experience will impact them incredibly. So I want to tell them to just embrace it and get the most that they can out of it and uh, enjoy themselves, have fun. The key to success in any undertaking is your attitude uh, because you're always going to have stumbling blocks or challenges along the way. And if you have a uh, uh, get up again and try again attitude, then they'll be fine. And look at these guys, they're going, they're working hard, they're going to get there. It's going to be super. So preparation. 100%. We've got about 30 kilometers to go, about 13 today, and 17, actually it's more than 30, it's about 35, yeah. and um, to get to Esprit tomorrow. And Louis, I'm going to be in your canoe. Yeah, I'm going to be in your canoe. Yeah, so who's going to be driving our canoe? I'm going to be driving canoe. You're going to be driving our canoe. Yeah. Excellent. This is our cause, and to just sit in some office and to think about it and to give money and stuff, that's not just what it's all about. You have to be able to actually get involved with what you're doing and actually experience it, and that's why I think it's very important that we go on the river. When we first reached the rapids, we ended up actually getting out of our canoes and walking ahead to plan how we were going to go through, how to avoid the rocks and not kill ourselves. But uh, going through it was really fun and we ended up, me and Louis, diverging from the group so we could actually go into the more hard parts just for uh, the thrill. But no, it, it was a really cool experience and it's probably the highlight of my day. There's an agreement between the feds and the province of Quebec for managing the St. Lawrence River, and the federal government has an agreement with Ontario to manage the Great Lakes. So the Ottawa River has fallen between the cracks. This is Quebec, this is Ontario. We have these water quality kits that I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna pull out. This is the probe that I use when I go out. And in the kits, you can measure uh, some nutrients. So we're gonna measure phosphorus and nitrogen. 
most of the places on the river you won't see too much of a blip. Um, but here we might because of all the agricultural influence. It's just at the surface, so I'm taking a surface, a measurement of the water at the surface. And when you get out into the river, you can do depth profiles. So you can take measurements at the surface, going all the way down to the bottom of the river. In terms of uh, some of the major threats that are on the river, we pretty much have a little bit of everything. Pulp and paper mills, sewage and stormwater, there's 19 dams before you get to the St. Lawrence River. Not one of those dams has any kind of ladder or, or um, passage for migrating species. Most people don't know that here is the, the pipe is buried in the river where everybody's sewage, treated sewage comes out. It was like so you this. can see it's a little bit yellowy. Yeah, it is definitely. I, 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 yeah, I'm surprised by that. C'est une chose de de savoir la pollution qui est créée par les les pas de papier, mais c'est totalement différent quand on sent le souffle et on voit vraiment l'effet que les entreprises et celles qui qui polluent les rivières. On voit leur effet et la puissance de ces choses-là. Si je pouvais parler aux décideurs, je, je lui disais en premier de, de parcourir la rivière, de voir toutes ces choses, de sentir le, le soufre et tout ça, de voir la pollution. If I could talk to decision makers, I would really just want to shine a spotlight on the Ottawa River and show them it's not big things we have to change. Just small little differences can really make a big impact. I like to remind everybody that every federal politician in Canada drinks the water from the Ottawa River. The Ottawa River here, this section that we're going to be going down tomorrow, um, thousands of people a year go there for whitewater rafting. And, and I've been working here for over 30 years, and the entire river corridor looks exactly the same as it did 30 years ago. You know, so I think tourism is another way which has a, a powerful voice. really want people to use the river because once you stop using it, if you're not swimming in it or sailing on it or boating or fishing, it becomes, you know, a dumping ground and, and our governments say it's okay. When the boys have an opportunity to jump out of the canoes, it's just such a feeling of freedom and fun. The kids really connected with the river today. It was magic. Whenever we're together, and especially Louis involved with water, uh, there's going to be some splashing because he's a little mouthy, but uh, we love him. That was the most fun I've had in the river so far, which is saying something. What's really cool is actually when we run out of water, we're actually refilling our water with the water from the river. We're just taking a, a couple of water filtration tablets and we literally just refill. We're drinking as we go. It's awesome. Hopefully in the future it'll be able to be even like cleaner. We can drink it without the need for tablets. We saw sturgeon and uh, some catfish and then a couple deer on the shore and uh, yeah, it was really nice. It gives you a different side of the experience and, uh, you know, comes to life. So this is Westmeat Provincial Park. Over here we have Roger and Larry who are just cooking up some of the fish they caught earlier. They were kind enough to share with us. Oh, 
Oh, nice. So yesterday we finally made it through. We finished our whole uh, canoeing trip and I don't know, I was extremely tired, but at the end of it, I guess we all felt just really happy that we got through it. We didn't have to get help and we made it through our own willpower. Do you guys want to say anything? No, so it's pretty rewarding. Yeah, I, I pretty much summed it up. up pretty Yeah. And so we come to the end of this four day journey. You guys have put in the sweat. We got the blisters. What I want to thank you guys for is the is that you're not just here to talk about the river. This trip isn't, it isn't just about talking. It's about the action that you guys want to do. It's about your decision to commit to help the river. It's been a whirlwind experience. Uh, we tried to fit a lot of river to a little amount of time, but uh, I think it really helped us. We got a great perspective of the river that we wouldn't have had otherwise, and uh, I think the mission was a success. We really bonded with the river. Yeah, we really know what we actually are trying to save. We've experienced firsthand something that we believe needs preserving. The harm that's being done to the river is increasing by the day, and it becomes exponentially harder uh, as time passes to undo these effects. We are all connected to water, and the waters near us, the waters that literally sustain our life, our ecosystems, are truly important, and you should experience firsthand how cool it is to be able to paddle down this river. To me, it's just we need to save this. That's that's pretty much simple as that. Like, so many other people depend on this river, live on this river, and we need to save it. I'd say we need to act now.